Hello! Today we're going to do a quick tutorial using QuickBooks Desktop 2019 edition and we are talking today about undeposited funds. We're going to talk about undeposited funds account, what this is and how to use it because this is a mistake that we frequently see with business owners that haven't had QuickBooks training and are trying to do this on their own. So just wanted to give a little bit more information on this. Uh, first of all, undeposited funds, you can think of as the drawer in your desk where you take the checks that you have received and you put them until you take them to the bank. The purpose of using undeposited funds is to group multiple payments that you've received together so that it shows on your bank account and in QuickBooks as one deposit. What we see happening with businesses that don't use the undeposited funds account is they have the checks going straight to their bank account. So they'll get a check, for example, for $100. They'll get another check for $200. And they'll take these to the bank together. So when they deposit it, it'll be a $300 deposit. However, they have it recording in QuickBooks as a separate $100 deposit and $200 deposit. So when it comes time to reconcile the checkbook, nothing is matching and it just creates a lot of frustration and confusion. So just wanna show you a little bit on how to do this. So first of all, you need to go to the Edit and Preferences and under Payments and Company Preferences, you wanna make sure that this box is checked to use undeposited funds as a default deposit to account. If this is not checked, go ahead and check this. So we're gonna create an invoice and start with that process. So we will create a sample invoice for our fake company. And we're going to use the customer of Natalie's Kitchen Cuts. And we are gonna pretend for our example that we were out there on September 1st to provide services to her for plumbing. And we charged her $500 for those plumbing services. On this example, you'll see that this is set to non-taxable for services. Depending on the city, state, county where you live, this may not be correct. So check your tax settings and make sure your invoices are being set up correctly. For our example, it's non-taxable, so we have a $500 balance due. We're going to save and close this invoice. Then the next step would be that we receive the payment. So following the flow chart here, the next step is to receive the payment. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to say that I got a check from Natalie's Kitchen Cuts and it paid off this $500 invoice that we created from September 1st. And that check came in the mail on September 30th. So I'm just going to change the date. I'm going to indicate that I received it as a check. I'm going to write the check number down here and I'm going to save and close. So I received the payment from the customer and now I'm going to go and deposit that into my bank account, record that deposit. You'll see here on the 2019 and some other editions older than that of QuickBooks Desktop, it does put badging here to indicate that you do have deposits that need to be recorded. So I'm going to click on that. And this shows me all of my possible deposits that have been out here that need to be recorded. So I'm gonna take the check that I got from Natalie's Kitchen Cuts for $500 that I received on September 30th, but I also had another check that I had gotten from DJ's Computers. And that check came in and I'm taking these both to the bank on October 3rd. I'm gonna select those two checks and I'm going to go here to make deposits. I'm going to change the date that I'm taking this to the bank to October 3rd. And you'll see that those checks were deposited into the undeposited funds account. And so I'm taking these two checks, which now total $2,000, and I'm depositing them to my Wells Fargo checking account. You can change this drop down if you're putting it into a different account. You'll see I have multiple bank accounts set up in the sample file. So if that's not correct, you can change that but I'm gonna take these two checks that I received to the bank and I'm going to deposit them for $2,000. So I'm gonna save and close that. And now if I look at my check register and I'll select that Wells Fargo checking account, 
you will see that this deposit is recorded as $2,000. And again, the purpose of this and what it does is that now when you get your bank statement and you try to go and reconcile your bank statement, you will see that your deposit amount matches what you actually took to the bank. If you were not using undeposited funds, you'd see a deposit for $500 here in your checking account, and you'd see another one for the $1,500. However, that would not match on your bank statement and thus make it more difficult for you to reconcile and make your QuickBooks file less accurate. So that is what we want to tell you today about your undeposited funds account and the reason to use it. Anytime basically that you're going to take multiple payments or multiple checks that you receive from a customer and put them into the bank as one deposit, you want to have the undeposited funds account feature turned on so that you can correctly reconcile come the end of the month. Thank you, and as always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at office at multi-business-solutions.com or send us a message through our Facebook page. Thank you, and have a great day.